This will be after Charlie's meeting with Heaven, as it didn't go so well. Emily was, well, disappointed that she couldn't work with Heaven. As in, we cut to Lute and Adam. Lute and Adam were getting ready to fight. It was still a couple weeks before the invasion, but Sarah would walk up to Adam and say, I have a different idea, follow me. Adam would start to follow Sarah and say, what's up? We can't keep fighting them forever. Every time we attack them, they get a little stronger. They even wiped out an angel last time. This time, we'll lose far more exorcists. And the fact that people know about the extermination and know that we can lose some of our own. As Sarah would look at Adam and Adam would look at Sarah, Sarah would then say, so, you have plans to invade, right? Adam would say, yes, I do. Change those. I want it to be plans to kidnap Charlie. And I want to do it a day before the extermination. And when that day comes, we'll send demands. Demands that if we don't get what we want, Charlie will be erased. Adam would say, are you serious? You know thou that's poking the beehive. You poked it quite enough. Besides, this will ensure that they can never invade. We'll sign a contract for our safety. And that will make sure that heaven will be safe. As in Adam would say, so what do I get to do? Sarah would say, you get to guard Charlie when she's up there and make official visits down there. Then who would do it in the kidnapping? Loot. You're not stealthy enough. This would piss Adam off and say, Sarah, I... Sarah would say, I have spoken. Adam would sigh and say, fine, I'll do it. As he would just walk off annoyed. As Adam would go to Loot, Loot would say, what's up? Adam would say, we have a very special mission. We're not exterminators now. We're kidnappers. Loot would say, what are you talking about? As Adam would tell her everything, and she would say, So I get to kidnap the princess? Interested. Adam would then say, Yes. And we get disguises. Of course, we need our man on the inside. Loot would nod. As Loot would start to head towards Lilith, Loot would say, I need your guy to get me a special job. Lilith would say, Uh, oh, you're such a bore. Why? Oh, no reason. Just tell him to do this. As suddenly we cut to Charlie, as Charlie walked in that night, she was exhausted, and she knew so much about Vaggy. She had a fight that night, and Vaggy left. As Charlie would lay in bed like normal, Alistair would walk in, and Alistair would go, What's wrong? Charlie would say, You know what's wrong. Alistair would say, I have an idea to cheer you up. Charlie would say, What's that? Alistair would say, Well, I know I'm not the so-called touchy-feely kind, but I thought maybe you could use a hug. Besides, I have a plan to get back at those angels. Charlie would say, Really? As she would hug Alistair and say, Thank you, Al, you're really... As suddenly she would pass out. As Alistair would have put a little slip on her with angelic magic, Alistair would say, This will only last for 30 minutes because how powerful she is. I need to get her out now. As Alistair would quickly get her out, she would be brought to heaven. As suddenly she would wake up. As Charlie would look around, she would see it. It was beautiful. But she knew where she was. She was in heaven. But how? How was she here? As she looked around, Sarah would walk up to her. Hello, Charlie. Charlie would say, what are you doing? I've kidnapped you. I'm going to ransom you so your hotel shuts down. Charlie would say, what? Why are you going to do that? Because I know you know the secret how to destroy an angel. Charlie actually didn't know the secret. But now she can bluff. Yeah, of course I know, Charlie would say. And you think bringing me up here is going to stop that? You can't keep... I know I can't keep doing exorcisms. I don't plan to. I just plan on ciphering your potential right here, right now. As Charlie would then say, what are we going to do now? Sarah would say, you, I'm going to sign a contract to make sure that you can't ever redeem a sinner again. As Sarah would laugh, we cut to Vaggie. As Vaggie went there, she couldn't find Charlie. She began to cry. As suddenly, she would hear footsteps. As a knock on the door was heard. She opened it and there was exorcist. She got out her spear. As Luke would say, relax. I'm not here to fight you. I'm here to make a deal with you. Who would then smirk and say, get Lucifer and meet me in the normal meeting spot. And oh, if you don't meet me there by 10, we'll get rid of Charlie. She would say as she laughed. As in... Vaggie would then start to turn to anger. She wanted to attack her, but she couldn't. As in, Vaggie would go over to Lucifer's castle and begin to knock on the door. As Lucifer came up and said, Oh, Charlie's girlfriend, what's up? Uh, do you want to see me about relationship troubles? You know, if that happens, I would think Charlie would go to me, but I can help the other side too. Vaggie would say, No, it's something more severe. Lucifer would then say, Are you 
ask permission to marry my daughter? Well, I would happily give that to you, but as in Baggy would say, no, I'm not. <sighs> Listen, I'm here because Charlie's been kidnapped. Lucifer would say what as his eyes would turn red. You didn't start with that? Baggy would say, I was trying to, but you kept, never mind that. Where? Well, slow down as suddenly Lucifer would start to run angeredly as he would meet up with Luke. Luke would say, Aw, does the king want his daughter back? Lucifer would say, Shut up. Where's Charlie? Charlie's in heaven. And you're going to have till 10 tomorrow to, well, make a deal. Give up your stupid hotel and stop trying to redeem people, and we'll give you back your daughter. <laughs> if you don't do that in time, we'll get rid of her. Sound good? Lucifer would be furious, but he couldn't strike her because then. Well, it would only make things worse, as then Loot would just leave. Lucifer would start to cry, as Vaggy would too, as then they would both sing, I failed you, my daughter. How could I have let this happen? I let you drift away, and now you're kidnapped. Vaggy would say, I failed you, love. As they would both sing, I failed you. As then we cut to Charlie, as Charlie would be in heaven. She'd be tied down to a chair as Adam would walk up to her. So, so, Charlie, little princess, how do you feel? Knowing that all your dreams are gone, Charlie would say, shut up, Adam. They're not going to sign the contract. They will, because they care about you. And that little girlfriend of yours, she's done so much. And now she's going to run away. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? You dated an exorcist, and now you're going to help exorcists everywhere. Charlie would say, shut up. As she would just cry, sitting down. Charlie failed everyone. She let herself get kidnapped. She trusted Alistair, and she paid the price. It was all over for her now. As Lucifer and Vaggy would have no choice but to sign the contract. As Vaggy and Lucifer would go in and, well, sign the contract, Adam would laugh and say, We did it! We did it! No more hotel! No more hotel! All thanks to me, Adam! Loot would say, but I'm the one who- Shut up, Loot. Anyway, here you go. As Adam would give back Charlie, as Charlie would start to cry and say, I'm sorry, I failed everyone. I failed everyone. Lucifer and Vagu both hug her and say, No, you didn't, hun. It's not your fault. We can find something else to do. Lucifer would say, I wouldn't be too sure on that. Charlie would say, What do you mean? Lucifer would then smirk and say, Adam forgot something. Let's just say you can continue the hotel. As they cut to Adam, he would open up the contract as Lucifer wrote F.U. instead of his name. As Adam would be like, oh, I, ah! As then he would start to scream obscenities as Sarah would say, what's wrong? As Adam would show her the contract, Sarah would say, you didn't check to see if he signed his name? So everything we did was for nothing? You're nothing but a useless form of exorcist. You're off the team. Adam would say, what? You heard me. Go. As Adam would leave, all pissed. As then we cut to Charlie and Lucifer, as there was one thing they needed to do. As then, we cut to Alistair. Alistair has been running away, as he knows that he can no longer stay at the hotel after what he did. But he also knows his plan failed, over the dumbest reason. He couldn't do much but hide in hell, as they didn't want him in heaven since the plan failed. But as days passed, eventually he would hear a knock on the door. He was laying low, hiding in an apartment. As he opened the door, though, it was Lucifer. As Lucifer would look at Alistair and say, Well, it's an uh, interesting meeting you here. It really is. But, um, let's just get this started. You owe me. After everything you've done, after you used my daughter, after you planned to get rid of her, Alistair says, I didn't want to. As then he sighed and got ready to fight. I know I'm not going to win, but I want to go down fighting. Lucifer would say, Finally, something I respect you with. As they would start to battle each other, Alistair would be extremely powerful and skilled, but he couldn't beat Adam, and Lucifer was dogging Adam. Adam only had an upper hand when Lucifer wasn't paying attention, so Lucifer would easily defeat Alistair, and as he was defeated, Lucifer would walk out and say, finally, a job well done. And that's going to leave things off. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share with all your friends. Please and thank you. That would mean the world to me. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, I enjoyed making it. I like Charlie stuff. Charlie gets me a lot of... <sighs> when I have Charlie, you know, it gets more views. And, yeah, it's almost November 5th. November 5th is when I'm going to see my brother on a trip, which is a big deal to me. And there's also a kind of a little deal 
with the November 5th. That <laughs> it's a joke, all right? We all know it's going to happen. And this channel, I don't really tell you what I think on things. The only time I ever told you that is about is when it's about, you know, LGBTQ stuff because, you know, I'm part of that community. So that's really the only time I've ever, ever told you guys about that. But yeah. Anyway, I don't really go into beliefs and things like that of that nature. And I don't really want my channel to be about that. My channel is just a fun, lighthearted channel for you guys to watch what ifs and enjoy. And you know, I hope you, and I hope I do do that. I hope you, you enjoy my content. I really do because I'm just a guy, you know, I'm, I'm not someone special. I'm just a guy who just records videos and that's it. It's insane that I've gotten this many views. Like my most viewed video is like, is like in the high thousands. It's insane how many views I've gotten, how much attention I've gotten. I just can't believe it, honestly. And honestly, I just want to keep going, you know? And there's, like, people have these viral videos that have 100,000 views or even a million and stuff. 100,000 used to be a lot, but, like, nowadays, it's kind of like... If you have 100,000, I think that's, like, the base what you need to be a YouTuber. Like, a full-time YouTuber. It's, like, 100,000, a couple of videos. So, yeah. And I don't have that, but that's fine, you know? And, yeah. I just enjoy making content for you all. And I'm really glad that you like it. I'm really glad that you watch it. And that just means the world to me. And I hope you're having a good day because you know I am. I love you all so, so much. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for being there for me. And thank you for watching my content. And who, what has been hotel characters your favorite? Please let me know because I'm curious. Mine's Lucifer. I'm not going to lie. Lucifer just steals the show whenever he's there for me. He's just, you know, he reminds me of my dad kind of. This is ironic because my dad's kind of religious. <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of ironic. But, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with all your friends. Peace out.